afternoon everyone my name is shadwari myself sakshi myself tanisha myself shruti and our project name is why my fruit turns brown we have various substances as you can see this is lemon juice white vinegar water milk and apple juice we have poured all these substances on all six slices as you can see this one is water this is oats this is uh, milk this is white vinegar this is lemon juice and this is apple juice lemon juice helps an apple from turning brown because it is full of vitamin c which ph level is 2.0 to 2.5 vinegar also helps an apple from turning brown because it has ph level 2.4 to 3.0 Apple juice also helps an uh, apple from turning brown. When apples are juiced, their hydrating qualities are magnesized, and some plant compounds are retained. It but it has pH level of 3.5 to 4.0, so it helps from uh, turning brown. This is nice. We have more water on it. The water distribution amount of oxygen come in contact with two tissues and it turns brown. Next is milk. The holes allow the oxygen to pass and it turns brown. This is milk. Milk pH level is 5.0 to 7.0 and it turns brown. The whole process of fruit turning fruit turning brown is called oxidation. Thank you. Hello everyone. I am Madhura Satpati. I am my baby girl. So now I am going to explain you food food web versus food chain. So as sun gives energy to the grass, grass is eaten by the grasshopper, grasshopper is, is eaten by the frog and frog by snake and snake by eagles. This is food chain. But it is not like that. The grass is only eaten by the grasshopper and grasshopper by the frog, frog by snake and snake by eagle. Grass is also eaten by the different animals, different organisms such as grass is eaten by the snails, insects, lizards. So this snail is eaten by the rat. Then this rat eats the grasshopper. Then this rat is eaten by the wolf. Now comes the frog. Frog eats the lizards, insects, and snake. Then this frog is eaten by the snake. And the snake is again eaten by the eagle. But before the snake is eaten by the eagle, the snake eats the wolf and lizards. And when these are finally dead, they are decomposed by decomposers. So now this is a food web. These interconnected food chains are also called as food web. Now let's see about marine ecosystems food chain. So, as we all know about water plants, one of the water plant is green algae. So now this green algae will be eaten by small fish, which are primary consumers, and then big fish will eat the small fish, which are secondary consumers. Big fish will be eaten by tertiary consumers, by example dolphin, shark, etc. At last, when they all will be dead, they will be decomposed by decomposers. This all was about marine food chain. Thank you. Hello, I am I am Divesh. Now we are, we will explain you about desert ecosystem food chain. As we all know, desert plants such as cactus, cactus, deep plants, grass. These are the producer producer food. Now, who will eat this grass? This grass will be eaten by a primary consumer such as cotton tail and snake. Now these now these animals will be eaten by secondary consumers such as kid fox and snakes. Secondary consumer is eaten by a tertiary consumer such as hawks and vulture. Now when these animals are dead, they are decomposed by decomposers. This was our desert ecosystem for children. Welcome everyone. My name is Saibara Saibara. Today me and my friends are going to represent the ecosystem. Now Rohan will tell more about that. Ecosystem is an interacting between different organisms which control species and environment of what is called ecosystem. And a geographical area where plants, animals, and human beings grow is called ecosystem. This chain helps to uh, control the species of one, environment of one, and uh, production of plant and other animals. Now, my friend Yash will tell you some importance about ecosystem. Good afternoon. My name is Yash. I shall tell you the importance of uh, the importance of ecosystem. The importance of ecosystem is to provide a habitat to wild animals and wild plants. It also helps in food chain and food web. Now my friend Pradhamish will give information about energy climate. 
now I will tell you information about energy pyramid. Energy pyramid consists of four layers in which producers and consumers are there. So everybody has their own energy level. So we have defined their energy level in calorie form. So now my friend Slow Power will explain you about kilo calories. This is the energy pyramid and these are the producers who have the most level of kilocalories which is 10,000 and then comes the primary consumers who have the 1000 kilocalories then secondary consumers who have 100 kilocalories and then tertiary consumers who have 10 kilocalories Good afternoon, my name is Anshiman and now I am going to tell you the uh, an ecosystem supports to survive changes uh, like human resources have invented many like ponds that help them to provide the water to the to fields uh, to pro producers to help them to grow properly as you can see when i ask uh, the water comes directly to the field that provides them to grow properly This helps them to grow and grow uh, ecosystem. Ecosystem consists the half of the world species live in the tropical rainforest. The rain, uh, fresh water ecosystem consists of rare species and the depth of the ocean has thriving communities. Thank, Thank you. you. Hello, myself Sartre and me and my team is going to represent what is balanced diet and it will also help you to follow balanced diet regularly. Now I am going to show you the factors which affect balanced diet junk food the food which contain high amount of calories fats and sugar are called junk food uh, they are so attractive and are tasty but they do not feel fulfill the need of nutrients in the body addiction there are so many types of addiction in the world such as cigarettes alcohol which can cause a painful death in day to day's life, the technology is so useful but it is harmful too. So, example, uh, watching mobile during meal time can also reduce the meal taken and can also affect your health. So my friend Raj is going to explain for healthy diet. This is healthy diet that we should eat in our day to day life. While going to offices, we should have milk or going to schools, we should have milk. Milk gives us calcium which are essential for the bones. In the lunch, we should have healthy diet that, we should, that are giving us proteins, vitamins, fats and nutrients like palak, like sabji roti and dal. They like uh, green vegetables, use the uh, are essential for ears. Uh, broccoli and sprouts are essential for lunch. In the evening snacks, people are eating junk food that we should not eat. We should eat fruits which use us iron, like apple use us. And in la, in dinner we should have light food which use us fats proteins and <laughs> Now we are going to play one game of puzzle of balanced diet. I will ask him question and he will tell. H2 is chemical symbol for water. Bread's main ingredient. Red. Red and delicious is my favorite type of. Tomato? Wrong. Apple? Yes. Oatmeal and wheat are high in. Protein? Yes. Thank you. Another year is of natural turmeric. You can see that the natural turmeric has been settled down. It has not been yet dissolved in the water. And uh, artificial turmeric has been yet dissolved in the water and it has not been settled down. And the color we can see that the color of a natural it is a dark yellow and uh, the color of an artificial is a very light yellow and uh, um, we can say that uh, the natural one is good for our health and artificial one is not good for our health and uh, due to the uh, artificial one we can cause uh, blood cancer and uh, many more things inside our body and due to a natural we cannot cause any uh, things, uh, diseases, or many things we cannot cause in our uh, body. Thank you. Myself, Gaurav Deepak uh, My project is which are the good conductors and which are the bad conductors. Now I have taken one open circuit. Now I will try with water. Water is a good conductor or bad conductor of electricity. See, water is a good conductor of electricity. Now I will try with a metal.
Metal is a good conductor of electricity. Now I will try with an plastic. Plastic is a bad conductor of electricity. Rubber. Rubber is also bad conductor of electricity. Thank you. Hello, my name is Vishwesh Tawaj. Now I am going to show you a CD gyroscope. So you can see the CD is uh, flopping here and there. And uh, it, is, it is also representing the navigation of rocket. Now you can see when I give a spin to it. So you can see the CD is spinning in one manner. So this representing the navigation of rocket and also the direction of rocket. Thank you. I have flying kite. In this kite contains a metal piece. And this is magnets. When we keep this like this, it's float in air because of this magnet's magnetic force. Hello, my name is Shohan Karpe. Today I am going to tell why balloon burst by one pin and why the balloon doesn't burst with many things. See, why balloon, balloon burst? We take on many pins and try to try to press it, it doesn't burst because the area increases and pressure of balloon separates on each pin. That's why balloon didn't burst. Thank you. Thank you.